My name is Tyler Kalpin and photography is... To me, photography is this really all-encompassing creative medium of self-expression in a lot of ways. Um, you know, it can be used as an educational tool, it can be used as a, a way of conveying uh, a message or, um, you know, a way of thinking differently about a larger issue, whether it's in society um, or a personal issue. Uh, much of it for me deals with a lot of personal things. Uh, photography has always been a very personal uh, way of self-expression for me. I work a lot with uh, self-identity, self-reflection. Uh, I collaborate with people that are close to me, so relationships that I have with people. Um, and my thesis work, Searching for Jenny, deals with my hometown, so there's a really deep personal connection there as well. Why do I shoot photography? <sighs> Honestly, it's my, it's my lifeline. It's like, it's like ingrained in me. The second I picked up a camera, it was one of those things like, I couldn't not, I couldn't stop doing it, you know? It's one of those things that like, I found something that I was good at and that I liked, and it really just, it fueled me, my artistic career, if you will, my passion for just making images. Um, I shoot just to, not only to get the creative energy out, but I shoot to, you know, show people like what I'm capable of and what, what playing with a camera as a hobby can do for you professionally. You know, typically for me when I'm out shooting, when I'm not like really, really like working on a serious project that I plan to show to the public, it's just, I feel a lot of joy. I feel a lot of, um, I feel the creative juices flowing. You know, it makes me look at the world a little bit differently. It makes me think a little bit differently. You know, especially with my work for ADD called Leftovers. That, that work in itself really, it propelled a lot in me to just be more observational of my surroundings. And that's one of those things where like, that level of consciousness kind of comes through in how I'm seeing and how I'm going about doing things. And it also is informing how I'm making the images, like because I'm photographing food I find on the ground. Like it's somewhat humorous to me. Like the issue itself is very serious, but like the act of like bending over at the waist over some trash I find on the sidewalk, it becomes really humorous to me. So, you know, there's a nice balance between like a lot of fun and humor where I can giggle, you know, but there's also a lot of serious things that I feel too when I'm shooting. Two of the works that I'm working on right now in the medium of photography would include my thesis project, Searching for Jenny, which deals with uh, the rise and fall of the steel industry in my hometown of Youngstown, Ohio. And, you know, my kind of interpretation of that in the present is seeking those things out or searching for those things, if you will, um, in the land, what's left over. Um, and then it kind of formed into, well, how can I create things to propel this idea of steel into the future, whether it's propelling its demise or propelling the idea that it could have been saved. And then other work that I'm creating right now, uh, as I said, is for Another Damn Distraction, an original curated exhibition by Nathaniel Gentry. That work not only is somewhat humorous to me, but it deals with a really serious issue of people littering or, you know, hunger, things like that. It shows that people are very wasteful um, and are honestly unconscious of themselves when they're just like throwing food on the ground. Like that can be given to another person or you could like properly dispose of it and neither of those things happen when I find these things. They're just like sitting on the sidewalk. In the future, I hope my photography takes me to more places I never thought that I would um, you know, that I'd never expect myself to be in. I've been in a lot of weird situations where photography got me there and I was like, damn, that's crazy. I didn't know that that could get me in this situation. Um, I really want my work to just be seen and heard by the public. I want people to see what I'm up to and, you know, what I'm trying to say with the work. You know, I never thought in a million years that I would be getting exhibitions or being asked to be part of group shows with people that I've met and only known for, you know, let's say a year or so. I'd really like to see myself continuing doing that just to show people that anything is possible.